All right, so what we're going to do today is I have a K2 clutch drum out of a 722.3 Mercedes that I'm currently working on. And we're going to change the O-ring in this bottom piston that is riveted uh, to the drum. Okay, so we're going to go through the procedure how to do that. And, and pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to um, uh, grind the rivets off. Uh, and then knock the piston out. We're going to clean it up real good. Uh, go uh, tap the holes and go back with the new O-ring. And then we have our little our little bolts here uh, that we're going to put back to lock tight on. Um, and we're going to put those back. All right. So first, I have my uh, overhaul kit that contains uh, the O-rings that we're going to need. This also contains the. Uh, uh, they give you uh, bolts as well, the small bolts, but I have a kit that I've had for probably 25 years uh, that has everything that I needed. And I've been off this, is, uh, if you can still get this, but I mean, I bought this way back when, when we first started drilling these things out and fixing them. Uh, and actually, this kit actually comes with two different bolts, okay, because on really early models, you would have the K2 drum, which we're gonna do, and the K1 drum, but this one doesn't have any rivets. This has a snap ring, so we just pop the snap ring out, take the piston out, and change the O-ring there. So that's actually nice and easy. All right, but uh, I have two different bolts here, and this one is for the K2, because it does not have to be countersunk, and this one is for the K1, which would have to be countersunk because the pistons are right on top of each other. The K2 drum, the pistons are not on top of each other. I'm gonna show you what it looks like once we get it apart. Okay, so I have, uh, uh, I'm all set up here to go. All right, now, once we get the piston out, we're gonna to have to enlarge the hole. Uh, so I have, uh, you know, they say to use a 316 or 1364, so I'm going to use the small drill bit first, see if this uh, will go through. If not, I'll use the larger. Uh, all right, so what we're going to do, I did one rivet already just to, you know, see how it would work, and it was good, so I have my uh, green cookie here. We'll just grind these other two rivets off and knock the piston out. We're going to take the O-ring off. And go. You know, sometimes these things are hard as a rock. Sometimes, you know, but I'd like to make it practice to change it because they should be changed. You know, this one's not that bad. A little flat. And then we're going to clean it all out in here. Get a little crap out. Okay. 
So now this is the bolt that we're going to use, and as you can see, it won't fit. Okay, this won't fit through, so we do have to enlarge the hole. Alright, so we're going to use the smaller drill first. Also in this, uh, like I said, this kit, this is the Stugart kit, great kit, it's like an OE kit, and uh, it does come with, uh, it gives you six bolts in here, and it also gives you a set of instructions as well um, in this kit. I don't know where they went, I'll get it. It gives you a, uh, a set of instructions, you know, to do, uh, to do the drums, the tools you need, and stuff like that. So that's, uh, that's pretty good. All right, so we're gonna drill these. We're gonna drill these out here. Uh, let me just bring the camera down a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna drill these out. Uh, I think it's a 316 drill I have here. drill. Now, this one uh, doesn't have to be countersunk because when the piston sits on here, it really doesn't even come into, you know, any interference with it. So we can just leave this right here. The other instructions tell you to countersink it, but you really don't have to. Not on the, uh, not on the K2. So this will sit in the drum and then this will go in and you got a space like that so it doesn't even come into contact. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do here is I gotta clean this stuff up real nice. Um, I'm gonna put it in the wash tank. I wanna get all the grease off. They even tell you to kinda spray like the car clean on it just to get it all degreased and real nice and clean. Then we're gonna tap these holes. Actually, what I'm gonna do first is clean this drum up and we'll tap the holes and then I'm gonna clean everything up again. All right, so just give me a second and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so we got the drum all cleaned up here. And now we're gonna use our uh, tap. The tap size is uh, 1032. And we're gonna use that to tap the holes. Yeah. 
a little bolt there is going to is going to fit. No problem. screws in nice, all the way down. Okay, now that's good too. And let's check the last one. Okay, very nice. Okay, so now I just got to clean up these drums again. I want to clean up this piston. I got to get the O-ring out of the kit. And we're going to put it back together uh, with the, you know, put a little Loctite on these bolts and put them in. And then we'll see how far this stick and I might have to grind some off of here as well. All right, so I'm going to get all this stuff cleaned up and I'll be back in a minute. All right, so I got everything cleaned up. Got my drum cleaned up. Got the piston cleaned up. So now I'm going to go ahead and reassemble this. So I have my... Uh, lock tight here, and, that I don't need. and I have my three bolts uh, to hold the piston down. Okay, so let's put the O-ring on. This O-ring, of course, I got out of the kit, and it feels good because I got a bump here, so the O-ring is sticking out. And another thing that I did is I took my stone and I just flat sanded each hole in case there were any burrs on it. And what I'm going to do is just hold, uh, grease this here so there's uh, O-ring will be held down and it won't fall off. So I'm going to go with these style bolts because uh, this actually, again, does not have to be uh, countersunk. All right, so what I'm going to do is going to set this in place. All right, line up the holes. Okay. This is the, uh, I think it's like bluish Loctite. They don't want you to use the red. They specify blue. Okay, I'm going to drop that in place. Let's get another one. Okay, a little much. Okay, drop that in place. Now we got these sticking out the back here a little bit. So I'm going to take the uh, wheel again and just kind of grind them uh, down a little bit. I don't really think they're going to be in the way of anything, but I'd like to do it anyway, just in case. So this is good, good, and good. 
perfect. So that is the oval hole of the uh, K2 clutch drum, and of course, the next step would be to you know do these two, put the lip seals on here, and sit that in place, and boom, the drum is is done. So uh, again, this is 722.3 Mercedes, but 722.3.4.5. Pretty much the same procedure on this drum. Uh, and real quick with this one, this is a later drum, so this actually has a snap ring. Okay, this has a snap ring and it has a piston. So there's no need to, you know, do anything with this other than just change the O-ring. Pop this thing out. Okay, and there's this this one here, and the O-ring is in the side, versus uh, the O-ring on this one was on the piston uh, in the bottom, and this is on the side of the drum. So uh, this is, uh, you know, fairly simple to do. So I just wanted to share that procedure with you guys on that uh, uh, K2 drum on this Mercedes 722.3. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and have a great day.